Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my brothers and sisters in Islam and to all non muslims i greet you all may the peace of god be upon each each one of you together with your families and whenever you feel uh, any difficulty i pray for ease so i thank you all for tuning in to my youtube channel let us continue guiding each other to the truth my today's topic is this who is the true god who is the true god Islam clearly and beautifully answers this critical and significant question. It reveals to us more details about the one true God and his unique nature and qualities. Okay, in Quran uh, 1:12:1 to 4 it says that he is God, Allah, the one, God the eternal, absolute. He begets not nor is he begotten and there is none like unto him. In Arabic it says kulhu allahu ahad allahu samad la miyalid wala miyulad wala miyakun lahu kufuwan ahad This is a, a, a complete chapter of the glorious Quran This chapter briefly tells us the ultimate truth about the one God Allah and his true nature It clearly answers critical and significant questions that puzzle like uh, millions of people out there who doesn't know more about Islam or who doesn't know more about Muslims. Here are the qualities that distinguish the true God from others who claim to be God. The qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one, this true God is creator, not created. Allah created everything, the flowers, the trees, the oceans, the rivers, the sky, the moons, uh, the stars, the sun, everything that we see and everything that we can't see with our bare eyes or we, we have never even seen, others have not even been revealed by the scientist or whatever. They are created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, this true God is only one, not more. He has no partners nor equals. Number three, this one true God is invisible. No one can see him in this life. He is not physically uh, manifested or incarnated in other forms. The way they say that God is the, uh, is the Father, God is the Son, God is the Holy Spirit, no. Number four, this one true God is eternal. He does not die or change. If God could, uh, could want to save the humankind from sin, he created us, he knows us, he could have uh, forgiven us in his own mighty way, the way he knows that because he is our creator, he takes life, he gives life, he gives us breath, everything. Eh? So why? how can you say that God maybe saw that the sins are too much, then he was the son, then uh, he changed or re reincarnated to son, then came down, died for us, ate with human beings, walk, no, it, it any. It doesn't add up. So this one true God is eternal. He does not die or change. Number five, this one true God is not in need of anyone like a mother, a wife, or a son, or anything like food, drink, or help. But others are in need of him. Like we human beings, we are in need of God. We are in need of God in, uh, in many ways, like we need sustenance from God. We need healing from God. We need health from God. But God does not need any of these things. But we do. We, okay? We need them. We need these things more than God. God does not need anything. Another final thing is that this one true God is unique in his attributes. No one is like him. No human descriptions can be attributed to him. Okay? So... Those are the qualities that distinguish the true God from others who claim to be God. Until next time, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.